are going to finish Dali here. Um, this is kind of loud in my headphones. I need to turn that shit down. So we gotta go figure out what happened to um, to our, our little friend Vivi. Vivi. Uh, no. <laughs> he got kidnapped is what happened, but we gotta go find his ass. And unravel the mystery. She won't tell her shit. Hello, children. Oh no, they know! But they won't tell us. standing over there listen to chocobos hi little girl excuse me did i hear a chocobo <laughs> she just appears <laughs> where the fuck did you come from oh no vivi is crying it's coming from that pipe to your left you idiot Poor buddy got kidnapped. We gotta go rescue him. Okay. We'll find you, pal. Where's that dickbag Steiner? Will she tell us? No. So mysterious. <laughs> Everybody's offering to help her for information. Lady, you gotta move. I need that. I need. I need to get in that box. Scooch. She won't. Um, I think we can get it later when we're like running into that field. So the entrance is in here. That guy is gone, which is good. Um, we need to get the mayor out of here. We need to like stop this thing from turning, and then we need to get the mayor out of his house so we can get the key. Um, I don't remember if that's part of this or if that's something you have to do as like a side thing. I don't really remember. <laughs> um, I seem to remember more about eight than nine, which is weird because I've played my nine more recently than eight. Down we go. Oh yeah, making that money. But we'll see as we go. We'll figure it out. This is some kind of weird operation. And there's the chocobo. I mean, or maybe because he thinks this is fucked up. Don't put Vivi in a box. Nobody puts Vivi in a box. We'll have to beat you up. That's where he was born. Shut up. Shut up. You were you were born in a crate. crate You're a crate boy. Oh no. Mysterious music. She knows what's up. Yeah, your mom is up to some shady ass shit, girl. Don't worry, we'll figure it out.
Agreed. Let's go snoop. Always be snooping. Oh yeah, treasure. Oh yeah, more treasure. Hey buddy. It's not nice to keep you down here. They got like some greens all tied up there. Here we go. Oh, what could be in this box? It's a moogle. Oh, you need me to carry a mail for you? No problem. Now we see. Wait a second. Okay, good. I was like, can I not get... Ha ha. I was gonna be mad if I had to do that before I kicked the thing down. Come on, jump. Thank you. In the we go. Now we have too many of those things. Hop. Hop. This one. Nice. Oh wait, did we equip any of the other bridges? Um. back here? No. What about over here? Nada. Up. Nope. Up. Oh. Well, alright. <laughs> we went around for no reason. He's always just like running straight in. Oh no, Booby, they put you in a box, buddy. Don't worry, we'll let you out. Buddy, I won't let anything happen to you. Even though your backstory is gonna make me cry. It makes me cry like every time. Very sad. Yeah, BB, yell at him next time. Don't let people just stuff you in a box. Can you stay in the box, please? Okay. 
use it. I'm gonna put it on him, but it's not gonna do anything. Um, because it, yeah, adds a status attack, a status effect when you attack, but, um, he does never attack. go that way. Or, oh no, I guess you can go that way. Oh no! There are black mages like crazy. We gotta hide. the adults in the village are in on it. Also, I think women in long skirts should not be um, working around heavy machinery. <laughs> oh no! Now we are in the boxes. I don't know why but they put them in boxes and then in a barrel. Seems inefficient. Did you fart? <laughs> Gross, dude. I don't think it's the noodles. Oh no, now we're Steiner. This guy won't, won't talk to us. He's still learning shit. Yeah, I don't have any new stuff for him right now. Hi! Rude. Why did you even come here, Steiner? Move! Thank you. The dick. Is there treasure? Yes. I love his goofy ass music. Aw ye, treasures. Let's go talk to this girl. He's just standing in the doorway. Hey, oh, look at his cute little airship. Me too, dude. <laughs> Just constantly yelling at people. And then what? He's like, but I don't wanna. <laughs> Tell me! <laughs> it's how he gets information out of people. Sure. <laughs> He ain't gonna tell you, bud. Off you trot. Um, let's play cards against this guy. I got my ass whooped the last two times, so, um... I don't know what's going on with this, because last time I played, I won the tournament. Um, I did okay. So, I don't know, I'm just super sucking at this now. I don't know if it's because I just really suck at it, or, I mean, maybe it's just because I forgot really how to play it. <laughs> or because you just have, like, a lot of really crappy cards at the beginning. Or a combination of all of those things. Maybe I should go, like, read up on card games again. Damn it, I don't want to go first. 
first. Okay. I will go first. Ah! Ah! He has really crazy guards! cards from fighting things. Ah! The airship. Well, I mean, kind of technically because we're um, in a crate in the airship. <laughs> oh, are now are you going to get suspicious? It's us in a barrel. I mean, it's shady as shit, you guys. You're a cog in the machine of the military industrial complex. What could be inside this barrel? <laughs> Help! It's us! Just stab it. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> ah, just constantly falls over. Dude, he is so animated, it's crazy. I don't know how he has so much energy. I would also like some energy. Oh, Vivi's so sad. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry we got stuck in a box inside a barrel. And also that you don't know what you are. All right, let's steal the airship. Uh oh, Black Waltz number two. Well, now that I'm looking at the shape, of is maybe a lady? Huh. A waltz. I mean, they don't really have gender. But this one seems to be, like, kind of feminine presentation. Hard to say. <laughs> Shit self. Well, they're not assholes. They were made that way. It's not their fault. They were born this way. Boom, baby. Uh, let's try to steal from this douchebag. Did he 
you steal anything? I was um, a little not. better than fire. Oh uh, yeah, soul leather plate. Like a motherfucking rock. Just do it, Stevie. Come on. Here we go. And then we gotta fight him again on the airship. He's all bonk up. Pain in the butt. Get fucked. Yay, he learned to protect girls. Now I can swap out whatever bullshit he's got on. It can't be! Oh my god, so rude. I mean. They're using magic. <laughs> She's doing her best. That is true. He is just yelling princess everywhere. We gotta smuggle you, girl. I mean, we'll try. Come on, Vivi. I'm sorry. Uh, we can't do that, but alright. Come on, buddy. We gotta heal up. And also, yo old woman, will you move, please? She won't. Hi, chillins. Quest! Quest! Um. Oh, maybe I have to do all that shit before. Whatever. I don't remember how to do it. Hey, dick bag. Let us stay the night or else. We'll burn your end down. <laughs> yeah, we know. Um. Um. Buddy. You just got mail. 
I thought maybe you had a water for me. But I think I can only carry one at a time, and I've got one from the guy in the tunnel. See, I know there is some biz with, um... Getting into that little side yard thing, and you need the mayor's key, and you can get some treasure from upstairs if you stop the windmill here. But I don't remember how to do any of that. Oh well. Oh well. Out we go to try to steal the airship. Just ask politely. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. I wonder if he isn't gonna try to double cross us. No. It will be us that does the double cross. Oh no, you're gonna do a double cross? We're gonna do a double cross. Yeah. That's okay. It's not illegal if they were gonna double cross you first. Don't worry, we can turn it around. There's no time to explain. Get in the airship. Go! Oh. <laughs> what a fucking creep. You can't just grab ass without permission. Uh-huh, sure. Oh, baby. Hold on tight, buddy. out here. Ugh, gross, dude. Oh no, Vivi. What's wrong, pal? Uh, they won't talk to him. It's very sad. Okay, buddy. We'll figure it out. Oh, buddy. Yeah. They're just like little animatronic guys. They're not like you, Vivi. gotta go hijack the airship. <laughs> you guys can't stay out of trouble. Keep, keep down here. Don't be seen. Oh yeah, treasures. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> hey buddy, it's gonna be okay.
as a seahorse. <laughs> Fucking Steiner. Hey, jackass. Because <laughs> they're not people. You can't talk to them. I mean, not yet anyway. They they are people. They just haven't figured it out yet. They are. Uh, she kidnapped herself, Jackass. But all right. Sure. Hey, buddy. Hey. Uh, not really. <laughs> Thanks, pal. It would be nice if they didn't murder us when we got back there. A background check? Oh no, what's happening? Hijacking the airship. And here, here he come. Black Vault number three. The coolest of the Black Vault. This guy's just like, what? <laughs> that sassy little butt wiggle. Rude. Double rude. Oh no, here they come. Uh, yeah, probably because we hijacked the ship. Oh no. Coolest and meanest of the Black Waltzes. It you? Black Waltz number three? Oh no, this part's really sad. They're not mindless. He's super mad. Come on, we need our healer. What? It would actually be better if Zidane stayed here and steered the ships. Because I need the blood. Damn it, I need my healer. Okay. Uh, now we have to kill this one. 
And I remember that he is a huge pain in the ass. I didn't remember that you don't have burn it. Oh, alright. GV is extra mad, so that'll help. It starts off with France. So that's excellent. Um. Double black. We'll go double fire. all the trains we get. Two double casts. Not bad. Please don't choke me. Today's just gonna be my potion bitch while we do this. So that we don't die. Since I don't have my healer bitch. Waltz don't kill BP. <laughs> no, don't kill BB. Literally, he's just gonna be healing every fucking turn. Oh, that's not your job. Although it's gonna switch to Unite in a minute. He is okay. Good, we're done. I was gonna say he's only got one more of those sword slashes in him, and then he's at his peak. Now this guy's gonna blow us all up. Cause he's a dick. As evidenced by his desire to murder all of his fellows. That is true. It isn't really his fault he's a dick. He was programmed that way. Yeah, that's a question that's a good question. Just how many of these do we have to fight? Yep, they are waltzes, and there are only three. Go for it! Go for it, Garnet! Come on, Vivi, it's alright. I mean, it isn't. He just killed a bunch of people, but... Oh, the hat. Now these bitches... All defeated, haha. -ha. Uh, yeah, number three is all bonk. Number two is actually harder to fight. <laughs> they just yeet themselves right on out. And here comes. Kamikaze, Black Bolt 7, Make a run for it! Okay, uh, don't crash. That'll be 
fine. Just, you know, don't kill us. You've never flown an airship before, but I'm sure you could do it. He's coming to get us. Ooh. He's at a Kalea course. He's at it right for us. I don't know what else you really want us to do. We can do it! Here we go! Because I started to close the gate, like, way early. Vivi, come on! Just stand there. Oh man. He's gone mad. South gate's on fire. Oops. <laughs> These little airships. They're so cute. Too bad ours is all donked up. We don't get it for very long. It just kind of autopilots its way over here. To Lynn Bloom. gonna last. I mean, that was pretty traumatic. <laughs> Everyone's all upset and he's like, what's wrong? Uh, yeah, kinda. Technically, it was your mom's fault. Yeah, not great. Ah! <laughs> I should make a puppet of Steiner. Can you make a great puppet? just have to do the little, like, his little arms in the air all the time. Make his armor all clanky. What do you think of that, Trey? A Steiner puppet? He'd make a great puppet. Like I was just saying, because he does this all the time. Ah. Yeah, and he's all clanky. Add him to the list of puppets. <laughs> Checks out. Hey man, if you got an offular. Oh, hey! Hey, Life Sync, how's it going? It's good to see you again. Hey, Ginger. How are y'all doing?
Oh, that's awesome. I came and watched some of your videos uh, this weekend. It's so fun to watch a speed run and practice. I've never watched somebody practice before. Pretty good. Um, just getting to Lim Bloom. Finishing up all the starter stuff for nine. I'm really excited to play it again. It's so nostalgic. How's your running going? Making progress? Bloom Castle is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. I bet that feels really good when you finally start, like, having it all memorized. I bet you have to do it a bunch until it gets all in, like, um, becomes natural. I always find that I have to, like, reference the guide or make a little cheat sheet or something, you know? Making her prove she's the princess. <laughs> yeah, I really love this game. This is my favorite Final Fantasy. first uh, game you've ever speedrun? Yeah, I guess that's true. I feel like I forget things a lot, um, but it's like usually years between when I play, so I guess <laughs> that makes a big difference. gonna tell me a story. It is? That's really cool. Why did you uh, decide to start to start learning speedrunning? He fell asleep. <laughs> As I recall, there's like a ton of stuff to do in uh, Lin Bloom before we proceed with the story. We're gonna have to do like this big hunt thing where we have to kill a bunch of monsters. And I only vaguely remember how to do it. <laughs> so I might have to read up on that a little bit first. Oh, that's cool. I bet it was a lot to, to learn. You know what I mean? Like, I was watching your videos and it's quite the setup you've got going on to chart your times. I never really thought about that for, um, cause I, I like to watch speedruns a lot, but I don't really, I haven't really watched people practicing before. And I guess I never really thought about like how much went into it. Um, it was, I don't know, it's just really interesting to see that. This game is so beautiful. It's really gorgeous. 
Uh, one of my friends, uh, we were all talking about which Final Fantasies we like, and one of my friends really doesn't like this one um, because he thinks it looks too cartoony because it's really stylized, but honestly, like, I think it's beautiful. And I think that kind of art style helps it to hold up. Like, Final Fantasy VIII, the graphics don't hold up as well as nine, I don't think, because it's so stylized. So a lot of it just looks like painting more than anything. <laughs> he got turned into an Oglop. <laughs> oh no, Sid. <laughs> So rude. Or maybe that's his wings? Oh, good night. Thanks for dropping in. It's nice to see you again. And um good luck on your on your next uh, section of your run. I'm gonna uh try to catch it next time. I'd like to try to catch you live. Um I have a lot of questions. <laughs> I don't know if you can answer questions while you're speedrunning, but I'll ask them anyway. Good night. Vivi is so cute. I love him. He, I think, is one of my all-time favorite Final Fantasy characters. Um, I have a really cute uh, plush, Vivi plushie that my best friend in high school gave me like 15 years ago. <laughs> turn into an Oblong. <laughs> Honestly, Vivi's story is so sad, though. I mean, it's like bittersweet, but it always makes me really kind of bummed out. <laughs> it's beautiful, but it's sad. Soup de silence. <laughs> Does it make you silent or is it silent soup? The stupid special. <laughs> Yeah, I like that too. He's extremely powerful, but he's just like, he's a child, basically. He's really young and sweet. Here's Freya. We first meet her. She's dope as hell. Just hitting on literally everyone. <laughs> oh, really? No, she's a, um, well, pretty positive she's a woman. She's named after a female deity. And um, she's searching for, or she's following in the, in the footsteps of her lover. Yeah, woman at the counter. I think she's dope. Helga, <laughs> rude. I really like that too. And it can be really useful um, 
like if you're fighting a really hard boss and you need to, you're not sure if uh, you're gonna get hit really hard, you can just have her jump. <laughs> He's so rude. It's Freya. I've always wanted to make a Freya cosplay. I made, um, for Halloween last year, I made a um, Black Mage cosplay for myself and my husband. Um, for the, we were the Final Fantasy Tactics um, Black Mages. Because in Tactics, you know, they have like the male and female version of all the jobs. And so I made both of them, the Black Mages, and they turned out really cool. My favorite thing about them is the, um, the female black mage has these like gigantic pink and white striped pants. Um, they're, they're like a paper bag style waist, so they're all pleated down and they're enormous and they're so fun to wear because they're just like, poof. <laughs> I really want to make some for myself, like just a tiny bit less full so I can wear them just like in my regular life. But they're kind of a lot to wear normally. And they're, um, I made them out of taffeta, so they're kind of like, when you walk, they're like, shoosh, shoosh, shoosh. A suspicious man. She's definitely planning some horrible shit. I really like Sid. I mean, I really like Sid in basically all of the games, but um, I especially like Sid in this game. Not only because he's an Oglop, but <laughs> for a lot of it. <laughs> Although Sid in 7 is pretty clutch too. He's like so grumpy. Oh shit! Did the rumor come out? Well, it's a good thing that she kidnapped herself. Didn't really have to do that much work. Oh, the poor black babies. They're so sad. That's kind of true. <laughs> Just little walking sound effect. I mean, you kind of deserved it, Sid. Maybe don't have affairs when your wife will turn you into an oglob as a result. <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't have affairs, period. I 
like that she, she's like, my mother has been creating these horrible weapons of war and uh, planning some super crazy shit. But if we just go talk to her, um, I'm sure she'll change her mind. She's so sheltered. Here comes Stevie. Good morning, little buddy. All the music in this game is so good. It has like a playfulness that a lot of the other games don't have. It's just kind of cute. <laughs> Just in case you missed it. Be careful, bud. <laughs> Teach me, monster. Uh, yeah, I don't... I mean, synthesis is just you take your weapons to the synthesis shop. Pretty sure. Yeah, you just take your items to the synthesis shop. Uh, basically, I'm gonna have to go bone up on that and print myself off a big ass list <laughs> for later. Because it's super useful. Okay, any treasures? Nope, but there's a mog over here. Hey, buddy. Do I have mail for you? There's a letter for me, from Ruby. Ain't y'all coming back to Alexandria? I'm so lonely. Just kidding, I'm opening up a little theater in an alley here. A bartender pal of mine is quitting the saloon and getting into showbiz. He asked me to help. A mini theater? That does sound fun. You want mail? I don't have any, sorry. Okay, so he wants me to go to the um, theater district, but basically there's a ton of stuff to do in Lindblom. Um, and then eventually to progress the plot, we will, oops, let's look at this weird guy. <laughs> Uh, eventually, to pro progress the plot, we do some um, monster, weird monster hunting thing. That'll come. Oh. Small town night in a big city. Here's the little red night girl that wanders around all over the place. Or a red mage girl, rather. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Rude. Gonna go talk to the pickle lady. Discover a love for the Limbloom pickles. Or Geshel pickles, that's what they are. I wonder what in the heck they, they're they like. Everybody says they're absolutely revolting. I mean, Steiner loves them. <laughs> so I wonder what they're cured with. Hi. Oh, that's cute. I guess we can, oops, I didn't mean to go there. I guess we can play a bunch of cards. We probably should play a bunch of cards. some point. I keep getting my butt kicked. I need to go bone up on some card playing. <laughs> it's for chocobos. Or moogles. I think it's for moogles. Go 
let's just eat random stuff, BB. Yeah, it's for Moogles. A Kupo nut. Oh, okay. Night, Ginger. Hope to see you again soon. I'm probably gonna hop off in a little bit too. It's getting kind of late here. Chef. <laughs> Grandma Pickle. No relation to poo poo. Everybody needs special pickles. Well, that's not good. Maybe don't let your father participate. Arf! Arf! Puppy. Festival of the Hunt. That's what we gotta participate in later. We don't have to win, but like, it's nice to win. <laughs> Basically, <clears throat> you gotta defeat a crap load of monsters. Oop, can we go up there? A treasure. Aw, oh, you treasure. Alright, I stole a bunch of stuff. And he learned some things. Still can't use that though. Aha! Uh, we need to learn more stuff. I need to fight more. same. <laughs> Rude, child. Alright, not a lot that way. Hi. Yes. Oh boy, I'm gonna steal all your shit. They show you the inside of the clock tower though, that's neat. I mean, there's birds roosting in there. Hi. Here's the red mage chick. <laughs> sure did. at some swords some more. Hi. Um, I am gonna need a fork, you say. I am gonna find the synthesis shop around here and then do some synthesizing. Should be around here somewhere. 
This is the item shop. Um, I'm not gonna do some synthesizing right now. I need to get a list together of what I can buy and synthesize and how much, based on how much money I have. Up oh, here he is. kind of nice to have like ASAP because they just give you bonuses but anyway I'm gonna do that in a bit because I gotta go buy some stuff I need two mage mashers and that's gonna cost me money and then doing it an interesting little clock. Clock. <laughs> and save. And then I'm gonna hop off for the night. And then we will do a whole game of thing. We'll do a whole bunch of Lim Bloom stuff tomorrow. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. My winter break from school starts today, so I'm very excited. I'll get to play a little bit more over the next two weeks while I'm off. Okay, well, I will see you guys tomorrow. Y'all have a good night. Bye.